It's one of these structures in particular I've come to see. The Great Pyramid, the eternal resting place of the Pharaoh Khufu. Scaling almost 500 feet, its completion set new levels for human achievement. It was the world's tallest structure for nearly 4,000 years. This is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and it is the only one that is still standing intact. I'm obviously a huge fan of the ancient world and ancient civilizations, and there are many amazing things across the globe. But this, it, it is truly wonderful, isn't it? There are 2.3 million blocks of stone here, and each one has been perfectly sculpted so it fits right next to its neighbor. It's incredible. The Great Pyramid took two decades to complete. With its original polished white limestone casing, it would have gleamed out in the Egyptian sun. Uh, exactly who built it and how has been the subject of wild speculation for centuries. It's been said that this was built by aliens from outer space, but thank goodness uh, some new historical evidence has appeared that tells us without a doubt that this pyramid was made by human hands, uh, and it's this remarkable thing. This is a copy of an ancient papyrus. Found just six years ago in a cave near the Red Sea, it's the four and a half thousand year old journal of a man called Mera. Now, Mera was no less than a project manager for the Great Pyramid. There is remarkable detail in here. He's written down how they made this beautiful thing. Down here, there's a little line that tells us the limestone blocks that cover the pyramid that made it that amazing gleam and white were brought from 50 miles along the Nile. Mera says it takes one day's sail for this special stone to reach the site, confirming the Nile's crucial role in the pyramid's construction. are going to be really mad that I pointed this out, but uh, have you ever noticed all the guest speakers on Ancient Aliens are really uh, white? That's weird, right? Because this show is primarily about analyzing the culture of people of color in ancient history, and yet the only times I ever seem to notice a local being interviewed is to just give basic facts about the area. The locals are never the people claiming that it was actually aliens. The show is still on the air, it's got almost 200 episodes, and they're still making more of them, so I'm sure there are exceptions. But anytime I see it on TV, it's always a white dude describing things that non-white people did, saying that it was impossible for how undeveloped they were, and then saying that it had to be aliens. How could the Easter Islanders have invented their own writing without some other cultural influence? They're doing things that would require precision work. How could they have had these advanced machining tools? The one answer would have to be they've gotten it from ancient aliens. The Mayans could not possibly have developed these systems on their own, so it is clear that they were given to them by aliens out there. Of course, the ongoing narrative of these moments is clearly a somewhat contradictory lack of respect for these civilizations and their people. Their art is interesting enough to analyze, their accomplishments impressive enough to praise, and yet, the hosts always come back around to directly or indirectly saying that they were too unsophisticated to have accomplished any of this without outside help, which is an opinion that they never seem to come to about European churches or castles or anything like that.
clearly someone told the local people how to place these stones into different areas. So you're surmising the technology was given to these people. The engineering yeah. knowledge, yeah. because this screams mathematics. I will certainly concur to this extent. Someone or some ones had extraordinary knowledge here. This is not easy to build. No. The funniest thing about this show to me is that if you believe all of these guest speakers, and you think that 90% of the accomplishments of people of color were done with the help of aliens, and meanwhile we have Stonehenge and nothing else, doesn't that imply that aliens don't like white people? I mean, aliens were going across the globe throughout all of early civilizations and meeting with all these different people and helping them invent things and helping stack structures and building pyramids for them, except for us. What did we do? What did we do that made aliens avoid talking to us for the rest of human civilization? I posted that joke on Twitter, and a couple select people got really, really mad.